Hi everybody, I am back. So I decided to take the summer off and for the last eight weeks I've been traveling with my family uh, across the country and I know a few of you reached out to me and so just wanted to let you know I'm back. I'm doing more YouTube videos for all of you Canvas users out there. We're going to explore some tips and tricks and I'm going to be back regularly every week but just wanted to take the summer off, take a little sabbatical from YouTube and so I want to show you a few of the pictures that I took while I was away before we get into some of the awesome canvas content which spoiler alert we're going to be looking at accordion menus today and so I have some fun stuff to show you and we're going to follow this up this is actually going to be a two-part video next week we're going to show some advanced uh, editing and customization today we're just going to explore some basics of how to create an accordion menu but before that I want to tell you about my trip this summer so we decided to drive across the country with a car full of kids. We have three young kids and we went from Orlando all the way to Utah. We explored Kanab and Kolob, which is southern Utah, which is spectacular, especially for people like us from Florida, where everything's flat. Looking at these giant rock formations and all of the colors and all of the nature was really inspiring. We made our way up to Bryce Canyon as well which was just monumental, you know. Put it into perspective, in Florida, we're at sea level and the highest altitude in the entire state is about 300 feet. And so if Magic Kingdom at Disney were an actual mountain or a hill or a mound, that would be the tallest point in our state. So looking down at Bryce Canyon and hiking around a little bit was something really great. And we went on the ATV trails, we went four wheeling, we stayed a little bit at Sundance for a few days, about half a week or so, which is one of our most very favorite places in the entire country. And so we were happy to go climbing and hiking, exploring all the streams and creeks and riding the chairlift and seeing the scenery. I even hiked in towards a waterfall, which just about killed me because I am not in shape. But my goal is next year I want to be in better shape so that I can go visit all the waterfalls and go climb all the mountains in Utah. But we also went to the salt flats, which is the opposite of the Rocky Mountains. And so that was pretty cool. We've seen a lot of TV shows and movies filmed at the salt flats. So it was fun to drive around there and take pictures. We held snakes and we went to an Asian festival. I even got to go see a childhood friend of mine do a book signing at Barnes and Nobles. And that was pretty cool. And he facilitated a game that we played as well. We built a bonfire that was way too big. Be careful everybody, especially out in California and Utah where there's lots of fires right now. But we enjoyed just so much scenery, driving through the Navajo Nation, especially the southern states. We ultimately went, I drove from Orlando to Pasadena. So we went coast to coast and back, put more than 8,000 miles on our car. And I know it's cliche, but there's really no place like home. So we're thrilled to be back in Florida back in sunny Orlando and being able to see the entire country was really inspiring and now we're back and we're getting ready for this next school year and so we're going to be exploring Canvas and so I'll get back on track to making my weekly Canvas videos and showing you some tips and tricks. Today the thing that I want to show you is how to make an accordion menu right in Canvas. And this isn't using some third-party tool. We're not going to go to h5p.com or some other third-party tool. We're going to build this right in Canvas. And I'm keeping it very simple this week. We're going to look at the basic structure of an accordion menu and how you can create that on your Canvas page. Next week, we're going to look into more of the aesthetics. We're going to explore the colors, how to use icons and integrate pictures, and maybe how to create little accordion boxes that live off to the side. And so I have, I've been exploring a lot about the accordion menus, how to do pop-ups and how to do GIFs and things like that. So for now, let's look at this accordion menu. I have two things right here. One is data. So when I click on this, it expands. Data is what a baby computer calls its father. So that would be, you know, the subject and the definition or the term and the definition, however you want to do the semantics of the accordion. Essentially, when you click on it or when the student clicks on it, then content will be revealed. And so that's essentially what we're going for. So here you have Snapchat, you click on it, and the definition is Thanos' favorite social media platform because it disappears after a little bit. And so these are clickable, just very basic, basic HTML. So we're gonna explore how to do that. And let's jump into the edit. In the rich content editor, 
it's really not much to look at. This is kind of hard to work with in a sense. And so we're going to want to hop into the HTML editor here. The basic structure, the first one is more basic than the second one. I made two different accordion menu and integrations here. And essentially what you're looking at is details and then you have the summary and then you have the content. And so everything within that first accordion menu is within these detailed tags here. So you have the HTML, the details, the part that you want to be seen without having to click on will be here in the summary portion. And so here I have data and then the hidden part is right beneath that. And so when they click on data, then the hidden part gets revealed. And that's essentially the gist of what gives us that interaction. It's super simple. You have the details. This would be the summary and I click on the summary and then it expands to whatever I want there. Let's hop back over and see what I did for the second one. Now the second one's a little bit different than the first one. The first one is the very most basic accordion that you could possibly do. The second one, let's look at what I did. I added just a little bit of CSS. Next week we'll explore even more. So first of all, I have some style here. This doesn't really mean much. It's just saying, I don't like it when the bottom of the canvas page pushes right up against the bottom of my, the content of my page. And so I want there to be 25 pixels, just some breathing room. And so I'm putting a margin at the bottom of 25 pixels. And then for the summary, I changed one thing. I put, instead of having the cursor just be a regular cursor, when you hover over the summary portion, which in this case is Snapchat, it changes to a pointer. And let's just take a look at what that is. So you see for data, I can click on that and it doesn't change the cursor. For the Snapchat portion, it does change the cursor. It changes it from an arrow to the finger, you know, the hand with the finger, indicating to the students that this is something you can click on. That's pretty universal for it's clickable. And so they know that they can click on that. And that was just a very simple CSS feature in the summary. I just changed the style of the cursor to a pointer when it's hovering over the Snapchat portion. And then for the next content, instead of just putting the content there, I instead created a div and put a paragraph within that div. And then the div, I put a little bit of styling. I put a thin border around it. It's a solid line and it's gray. So that's what that says. And then I put a little bit of padding. From the top and the bottom, I put five pixels of padding and on the left and the right, I put 15 pixels of padding. So the paragraph sits within that div, which is a box and it has just a little bit of cushion room. And so this code, if you want to grab that code, I'm going to put it on my website, howtocanvas.com. So go ahead in the description below and grab the link to that. And you can start playing around with your accordion menus. And that code is going to give you this. So you'd either choose which one of these two accordion options do you want to explore? And then just copy that and paste it as many accordion menu drop downs as you need. And it's super simple. So this week, again, we're keeping it simple. Next week, join me again, and we're going to really dive into how to change the colors. How did you do the background colors or the text color? How to put pictures in there or even animated GIFs? I'm even exploring how to use an accordion, this concept of the accordion in a button format so that you can make elements pop up and down on the screen, such as animated GIFs and things like that. So we're going to have a lot of fun next week. I wanted to mention one thing before I close out this video is that I appreciate everybody who attended InstructureCon and who visited my session. I had a great time preparing that session. And in that session, we explored how to take a simple canvas page that has text and images and how to make it interactive, how to make it visually aesthetic using just CSS and HTML code. I received a lot of good feedback and I appreciate all of you who attended. If you didn't catch that session or if you didn't make it to InstructureCon, check the description below for links. You can visit my session. All of the sessions are streamed right now and so you can view them on demand and I highly encourage that you do so. And I'll mention one of my favorite things about InstructureCon is that they made the announcements of this year's Educators of the Year, the Canvas Educators of the Year. And one of my former professors, Dr. Ron Miller, he was recognized as the Higher Education Professor of the Year. When I was an undergrad, I made sure that every semester I took at least one course from Ron. And he was just, you know, fantastic, a fantastic person, a fantastic professor. And he's done so much for our field, for our industry and for the students who have taken his classes. So congrats to Dr. Ron Miller. He's at Utah Valley University these days. And congrats to everybody who was recognized as Canvas Educators of the Year. Hats off to all of you. And for those who are preparing for the new school year, 
let's dive into Canvas and let's make a difference. And I will see you next week. And until then, happy Disney morning.